storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Let's talk about Kyle Massey. Now, Kyle Massey is an actor. Uh, he was on That's So Raven, Corey in the House, and then uh, the sh this newest show, Millennials, this, which is actually pretty good. I checked it out. But anyway, he allegedly, aka not allegedly, was charged with immoral communication with a minor. Now, I wanted to actually bring up to y'all what immoral communication is according to the Washington State Penal Code, which is where this suit was actually filed, allegedly. Now, um, this is a whole lot of mumbo jumbo, but basically this means you've been communicating with somebody through electronics in a way that you should not have. Now, allegedly, uh, this case was filed, like I said, in Washington, in King County, I believe. And, um, there has been an investigation since 2019 going on that accused Kyle of sending explicit photos, texts, and videos to a 13 year old girl. But Kyle's mother took to her IG to speak out for Kyle and said, look, this is nothing but a recycled case from 2019. This is extortion and this is absolutely false. So let me explain to you. In 2019, Kyle and his mother received a, a loss. Well, communication from the little girl's attorney. I'm going to call her a little girl because uh, I'm not going to say her name. So we're going to say little girl. So little girl and her mama's attorney sent paperwork saying that they wanted a settlement. I'll put the paperwork on Patreon. I can't show it here. But they simply wanted a settlement, and they accused Kyle of sending explicit photos to the little girl via Snapchat, right? And so at the time, the girl was like 13. Um, mind you, Kyle has been knowing the little girl since she was four years old, but it gets worse. Allegedly, according to Kyle's mother, the little girl's mother and Kyle had a thing when he was 16 years old. So a lot of this story really doesn't make any sense, which is why I'm not going to just go out and just say that, you know, Kyle Massey is such and such like, I need more details of this to come out and I'm going to keep it real. Uh, uh, Kyle Massey's mom, I'm glad she did show the proof that she did, but I still need more details because even the paperwork is still not fully making sense because I need y'all to tell me, did he actually send the messages to the little girl or not? Like, that's the proof that I need. But anyway, so, huh. He's been knowing the little girl since she was four years old. The little girl wants to be an actress and wanted to be in the reboot of Corey in the house that was going to happen or that did happen on Disney. Maybe it only happened for one season. I don't know. I ain't watched that shit when they try to remake that shit. I ain't got no time for it. Now, according to the little girl's family, Kyle has been grooming the little girl to move from Washington down to L.A. with him and his girlfriend to help, you know, help her become a star and push her and, you know, be be guy, be uh, like her mentor and guide her. And, you know, we'll live with him and his girlfriend and, and we'll groom her. That's ba they're basically accusing Kyle of trying to groom the little girl. And then I thought back and I said, come live with him so he can. He can help her out. And I'm like, okay, that's giving me B2K vibes, Usher, uh, uh, Diddy vibes. That's giving, that's just giving me weird vibes. But Kyle's mama paints a whole nother picture saying that the little girl's mama, number one, slept with Kyle when he was 16 years old, scorned because Kyle don't want her no more. And now she's making up this whole incident. So who do y'all believe? Do y'all believe that Kyle actually sent these texts and explicit photos to a 13-year-old little girl? Or do you believe that little girl's mama is a woman scorned because Kyle ain't hitting that no more? Even though, if it's true, that she slept with Kyle at 16, that would also be illegal under California statutes. But this is just what they're saying, right? And so when you hear a story like this, it's very easy to run with it because, well, it's not nothing new that we've heard before. But then when you start to think, wait a minute, he's known the girl since she was little. He knows the family. They're very comfortable with one another. Kyle's mama speaking now is saying, look, which I should also see in this paperwork is that when the little girl's mama came after them legally, she didn't file none with the police report. She immediately wanted a settlement of $1.2 million. How do y'all feel? Back up. What would you do if somebody allegedly sent explicit photos to your minor child? Are you calling up police? 
or are you getting the bag? What are you doing? What are you doing first? Let me know. Are you are you calling the police or are you getting the bag? And thank you guys for the donations. It's a money grab. They said, hell no, I don't believe it. And mama didn't whoop that trick. These parents are terrible. Yeah, I, that, that's what I'm saying. Y'all tell me. What 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 would y'all do? Because I find it weird if you got a 13-year-old child, a grown-ass man sending whatever to her that's explicit, and you don't go straight to the police. You just went to the police this year. You tried to file the case in California, allegedly. It got thrown out, so then you filed it in Washington. It doesn't, the story is not adding up. I need more details and I'm going to continue to follow it, but I can't throw this man away just because somebody want to accuse him of some shit and ain't showed us no evidence, but have, but we do know that the, that the man they wanted $1.2 million. He didn't even touch the girl. He just sent a photo allegedly and she wanted a meal. Money grab, police, and I'm dramatic, so probably the FBI too, Ponzi scheme. I wouldn't put it past them. Right. On one hand, I don't put nothing past any of these celebrities. But on the other hand, let me ask you something. Man, why did your 13-year-old child have a Snapchat anyway? According to the mother, though, the way the uh, time, the way the history of the communication via Snapchat work is, in 2018, the little girl expressed interest in being on Corey in the house. Corey then says, I want you to come down to L.A. so I can pretty much, you know, be your mentor. Right. And I'm a father figure to her. <sighs> That's shit. Such bullshit. Anyway. And then right after that, he started sending the explicit messages. And so it builds a story of grooming, just like any other Hollywood starlet. But why would you allow your little girl to communicate with him? Why would you allow a man that ain't her granddaddy, ain't her uncle, ain't, ain't no kind of relation to her to be her father figure? It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm not buying it. I ain't buying it. Anyway, let me take y'all questions and comments here. And then we got crafted bags at nightdaymarket.com. Make sure you sign up to the website's email to get their latest discounts. The link is in the description box below. Hey ladies, summer's here. You ready to step out in style? Well, head over to nightanddaynetmarket.com. They got an array of t-shirts, bags, earrings, sneakers, and much, much more. Oh, don't forget to sign up to their email list on their website to get those discounts. So y'all better head over there and get yourself some at nightanddaynetmarket.com. The link is in the description box below. Show. Ay, it's a storm show.